really get a sense of the personal interaction, you know, a sense of the person that you're interacting with. I think that this personal internet I'm describing has the potential to come up with a better sense of presence on the internet with a few more technologies. And the result when we do this will be things like Second Life and other environments like that will we'll, we'll take another step up in terms of the slice of reality that we have in the virtual world. Now, things like this today, though, need to be able to move forward in terms of gestures, in terms of interaction, in terms of involvement, to bridge the gap with the physical world. So I challenge my team one more time to say, what might a social experience look like as we evolve to the personal internet? The parameters for this thought experiment were exactly the same as they were in the Beijing demo earlier. We wanted to use technology that existed today, and, but that had the potential to be mainstream in just the next few years. And once again, rather than trying to describe this technology, I thought we'd take a look at it. Now, using the internet to connect to friends and family and people who share common interests is a trend that's been growing for a couple of years, as I just talked about. For people interested in sharing music, there's a lot of options. But there hasn't been a good solution for musicians who want to make music in real time over the internet until now. I'd like to bring out Alan J. Glickman, who's co-founder of a company called eJamming, that is actually created to help musicians get connected live over the internet. It's great to be here, Paul. Thank you for inviting us. Now, the eJamming system is both a social networking portal for musicians and music lovers, and a downloadable software application. Musicians post their music and their profiles at the eJamming website and meet other musicians to make music together in real time, creating, writing together, teaching. You can even record with musicians halfway across the world, Beijing to, to uh, Brazil to Europe with near zero latency. Now, right now, we should be hearing some music, but I don't hear it. Thank ah, there it is. Right now, you're hearing music, musicians playing live over eJamming's peer-to-peer network. From multiple locations. From multiple locations in Las Vegas. You can even see on the interface the other playing live. Now, I hear they're looking for a singer to front the band. How are your chops? Uh, they're not good. Oh. Uh, but, but I bet we have a volunteer in the audience. Is there anyone out there that would like to volunteer for this? You, sir, in the front row. <laughs> oh, we have a volunteer. How are you? I'm part of history. Hi. Uh, okay. How are you doing, Steve? Some smash Mouth. What's your name? Steve Harwell. How are you? Hi, Steve. How are you? I'm doing great. So, um, you know, do you know anything about music, or can you sing, or anything? I've, I've been known to be able to sing a little bit. I've been around for a while. Yeah. Um, have you heard of our band? Have you heard of a band called Smash Mouth before? Um,
close in time that was for them to be so far apart. And they are actually very far apart, so that's amazing. Thank you so much. You know, it, it's exactly why we created PJM. We're all about musicians and the music lovers. And we connect all kinds of musicians, professionals like yourself and amateurs like myself. And <laughs> I've heard you sing. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it. Anyway, the important thing is your friends and your fans can also listen in to a live performance over computers, the new mobile internet devices, and wireless cell phones. Uh, just, just think, it's over eJamming's new Jamcast technology. So, live performances from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, anytime, right to your ears. Well, that, that's amazing. You know what I like about that is you have, you have MySpace, you have all these places where you meet people. Myself, I meet my fans. But now, as a musician, I see all these kids on YouTube posting all their jamming sessions. These kids get to meet each other. Now they get to be able to jam together. And all of a sudden, you've got bands that are being created from all over the place, and they get to come together. That's just amazing. That's what we hope to do. That's Thank awesome. you very much. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. like a character mm -hmm. and to be able to jam but also have stuff that you can do to yourself that was you but actually look like you and uh, well you know we may have a tool for you well I want to check that out well I'd like to bring out uh, Steve this is Jonathan Stritzel how's it going Steve? how you doing man it's going good and right. this is Jonathan from, Jonathan is from Big Stage Jonathan Steve needs an avatar but he wants something cool not a cartoon that's not a problem Steve that's what we do so Big Stage is all about the personal internet the personal internet is a place where you're going to be able to create the digital version of you, and that version of you will be ported into all sorts of new and exciting entertainment experiences. Now, all this is totally capable using a standard digital camera right here. We're going to create an avatar of Steve by taking three simple pictures, and this camera is like all the cameras I see pointed at us right now. Okay? So Steve, you're going to look directly at me. Just straight Smile face. Smile or straight face? Just straight face, yeah. and then you're going to turn this. Steve is like this. Laugh. <laughs> I can never you can't help it. You're a star. All right, look straight ahead. We're going to take this picture. Just turn a little bit right there. We're going to take the next one right here. And one more. And right still. Right, right there. All right, cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take these three pictures. We're going to bring them right over here to this PC. And to save a little bit of time, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use some images that we, we took earlier, Steve. So we'll load them up right here. <laughs> so these are the images. Three simple face turns, as you guys see. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to build the digital Steve now. So get ready. It'll, it'll be around 30, 30 seconds to a minute or so. So let's talk about what you guys are about to see. So in roughly a short, you know, short period of time, you're going to have to wait. I know you're, you want to see this and you're smiling like crazy. Um, you're going to see the digital Steve fully animated. It's going, to be, it's going to be talking, it's going to be winking and blinking, and ready for content. Now what do you do with that avatar once all of you guys have created a digital version of yourself? The digital avatar can then be ported into two forms of content, a still image or a video. And you can take those still images and videos and share them over the amazing social networking technologies we've seen evolve in the past years. 